Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today, we are just doing easy freezer jam. This is the way I always do my jam. It's so easy. I just wanted to share it with you today. So we start out with um, four cups of fruit. So I have raspberries, fresh, fresh raspberries that I picked this morning from my garden. We're just going to, I've already washed these, so we wanna wash them and then we're gonna just mash them. Now, the easiest way to mash them is with a like a potato masher, but I, I don't have that. So we're gonna give this a try. Just gonna mash these. Now you can use strawberries, you can use any kind of berries. You could use peaches, whatever kind of jam you like to make. Um, you can use that to make these this freezer jam. Same amounts that I'm using with this raspberry, so mash those berries up. All right, so I've got it all mashed. You can see it's okay if you have little pieces of berry, you know, still, but you don't want any big chunks. So got that all mashed. I'm going to add two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is just bottled lemon juice. Okay, now I have one and a half cups of sugar. Now, if you're doing a like a more tart fruit, you might want to add more sugar than that. But usually one and a half cups is good. Okay, then I'm going to use, this is um, Easy Gel. This is but you can also get clear gel. It's a modified um, modified food starch. You want the instant gel. Um, I bought this in a local grocery store, but sometimes you have to order it online. But this is my favorite way to make jam. It is just so fast and easy, a freezer jam. So I'm gonna mix the clear gel in with the sugar. stir it into the fruit. Just do it gradually. That clear gel or ultra gel, that thickens it to where it makes the jam, so. Stir it until it's completely, until it's completely mixed. The reason why I like this recipe, I like to use the clear gel, is because you use less sugar. A lot of times when you use pectin, you use more sugar than you use um, fruit. And with this clear gel or easy gel, you actually use less sugar, a lot less sugar. So that's why it's my favorite way to do um, jams, freezer jams. Okay, so I've got this all mixed together. We're just gonna let that sit for about five minutes. It's gonna thicken, and then we'll put it into the jars. All right, I've let this sit for a few minutes. We're just gonna stir it one more time really well. You just want that, make sure the sugar is dissolved. Then you're going to put it into freezer containers. So it doesn't matter what freezer container you, you decide. Um, I have some jars here today, but I also use, you know, like plastic containers. Um, this is a glass like snapware container. These are glass jars. Whatever you put it, you decide to use though, make sure to leave a space in the top for expansion because you're going to freeze it. And so um, you don't want it, you don't want to break the container or the lid if you fill it too full. So just dip it into your jars. 
leave probably about a half inch head space like that. Then you're going to just put your lid on. It doesn't matter if you use, I have a plastic lid here, I have metal lids, it doesn't matter which lid you use, but I'm going to actually wipe that off before I put the lid on. I should have brought, um, if you use a funnel, it doesn't get the edges all dirty like that, but I don't have a funnel here either, so. And then you just put it in your freezer and it's really, really good because it doesn't have as much sugar then you can, it has a better, like a fresher fruit taste to it. So I love it. So give it a, give it a try. Easy freezer jam.